All right, another position that we have here on the mousetrap, again, the structure is built to put you in awkward positions and see if you can support the fundamentals when everything is not going exactly right. Now, on this next position, it's going to require a shot from the left shoulder. Now, again, you have two hands, two shoulders, and two eyeballs. You need to be able to shoot equally well from both sides. What I am going to give up on this one is I'm not really going to be able to get straight behind it because there's just not enough room in the structure, and it's by design that it's like that. But whenever I get ready to shoot, everything is going to follow exactly the same thing. In other words, it's going to be a mirror image of shooting from the other side. So again, it's not that I'm not going to be stable whenever I'm doing this. I will be stable. But everything has to be done equally well from both sides. So as you can tell, this is pretty much just a modified prone position. I've got my normal firing hand, right hand, supporting the rear bag. My normal support hand, left hand, is what's going to be pulling the trigger. I don't want to give up on the fundamentals. I want to make sure I break at the bottom of my breathing cycle. I want to come straight back on the trigger and have good follow through. So again, as you can tell, no problems at all with that shot coming off. I followed through, broke at the bottom of my breathing cycle. Anything that I'm doing from the right side, I'm going to do it from the left side. A lot of times we find people actually shoot a little bit better from their support side because they got to think about the fundamentals a little more. But at any rate, when things start to go wrong, fall back on the fundamentals. They're going to save you every time.